What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have a new video, a video that I'm not really used to doing, let's say. Summer Heat Predictions. Now, no one really knows what this promo exactly is. We're still trying to figure out ourselves because a minute ago they released the headline of the Shapeshifter and Winter Refresh, I believe, and some other cards. And people are thinking that they're going to release it back in packs, which I kind of believe... I don't feel like they're going to give them cards an upgrade because they're already on the market. So those cards, I feel like, are going to go back in packs. But they have released two versions of uh, Summer Heat cards, which actually look pretty decent. I wouldn't say they look at, they look up to the extent of like, the team of the season or even the team of the year. But they look pretty decent. But we are going to get into the first player, Mendy. Now, that is a player that I would love to review. The fact that this fellow Mendy, still to this very day, is super, super overpowered with his five-star weak foot. There's a lot of team of the season cards, left back cards if you want to call it, that have two star weak foot. And that is something I'm never going to like, especially from like Taglafico. I believe Telus has a two star weak foot as well. It's never going to be comfortable for me. But with this five star weak foot card, he's just, he's stupid. It really is. The fact that he can cut in with both feet, but not just that. A lot of team of the season left backs slack on strength. For example, Telus slacks hard on strength. And I actually used Telus like a few weeks back. And I didn't really like him. And I've since, since I took this fit, Footmas Mendy out my team, I have struggled to find a left back as good as him. I just can't find it. I really can't. It's something that I've been struggling for so, so long now. I don't like players that don't have strength, especially in a fullback position, because I know people like Ronaldo, people that have high pace, high strength, like Adama Traore, will be running at him. And most likely, they will get past them because someone can't shift them. And this is where this Mendy comes into play. With that high physical, the high defending, the high pace, the high dribbling, the high passing. Everything would be perfect on this card. And I am hoping, hoping that they can obviously release a Summer Heat card on him. Next up, we do have Bernardo Silva though. This card I still regret to this very day. I did a review on him, but I did not actually do the card. I believe I did him on someone else's account. And I still regret it. I still regret it because I said myself that I would be doing this card 100% because he felt like Lionel Messi in game. He's dribbling, he's pace, he's shooting, everything, everything was perfect about him at the time. I heard recently there's a lot of people that's been getting him out of the team simply because he got patched. Now, it'll be interesting to see because I haven't really used him since he came out to see what they could make of this card if he does get released. And if he does get released, especially with the stats I have gave him, my God, is he going to be used? He'll be very, very overpowered. But we move on to Robert Firmino. Firmino is one of the only players in here that I can't 100% see, see him getting a card because he got so many cards this year. It's crazy. But the reason I put him in is because he's got so many attacking cards. He hasn't got so many defensive cards. Now, the Halloween card, as you guys may know, Got a big boost on defending. And that is what I kind of base it off. If I can get, if we can get another Robert Firmino that can play in that centre mid CDM role, it will be absolutely broken. I still know people to this very day that uses the Halloween card. That's how overpowered he was. And if we could get a summer heat card with especially the stats I gave him, the 91 physical to 87 defending, 96 dribbling, the 88 pace, 93 shooting, 91 passing. I would potentially say linking him up because he is obviously 5 for 11, linking him up with someone that is quite tall, like a 6 foot 4, 6 foot 3, probably like a, you know, Patrick Vieira or someone like that. You could have one of the best midfielders in the game. It's, it's easy as that. It's easy as that. This card, I still love the Halloween card. Oh my god, if a Summer Heat card comes out like that, we might be in trouble. But next up, we do have Rain Rooney, the flashback card. I tell you what, this Rooney card, a lot of people did do him. They did. But I felt like they tried him out and they instantly didn't really like him. So they put him into an SBC. But for me, I did enjoy him. I understand the movement and the body type was not the greatest. And that's why I want to see him in Summer Heat. Bringing him back with better stats could potentially be, you could potentially, you know, you could argue that he could be one of the best cams in the game. You really could. With the shooting ability, the passing ability, the physical, the dribbling and the pace, what else do you want more from a cam? What else? I understand he hasn't got the greatest body, but my, body type, sorry, but my God, 
what I would see on my screen, I'll probably turn off the Xbox while playing Foot Champs. But we move on to the next, and it is a Foot Must Rusil on. This card still still gets used in a lot of people's teams, and I'm surprised because I understand he's really good defensively. He's an absolute brick wall, but he does not feel amazing on the ball. And that is why I want to see this card come back. I want to see this card get upgraded. I want to see this card get put into so many players teams. It's crazy. Now this Rusalon, pretty much the same as Mendy. They're going to be amazing in physical wise, defensive wise, pace, dribbling, passing. It's going to be crazy. And that is something I believe this year we are struggling on. We are not finding an amazing left back. We are not finding a left back that absolutely destroys every other left back. And that's why I want Rusalon and Mendy to both come out so they can do exactly that. But we move on to Bailey. A lot of people slept on this Bailey card when he came out. I told you guys, please do him. He is one of the most broken cards at the time. At the time. And I remember using him for at least like a month and a half in foot champs as a super sub. And he was still doing the work. He was still absolutely outpacing everyone. The dribbling was ridiculous. Shooting was really, really nice as well. But... You know, there's always time to there's always time to move on, and there was a time to move on that I I had the opportunity to, and I did it. But that does not mean I don't want to see this card come back. I want to see him come back as a really high rated. I want to see those cards, those card stats boosted by quite a lot as well. It's June for God's sake, EA. Give these cards, give these cards ridiculous stats. Make these unusable, I would say, players usable. So people can mix up teams. We don't want to see R9, CR7, Neymar, and Bappe every single week. We want to mix it up with a Bailey. We want to mix it up with a Rousselon. That's what I'm. That's what I'm. My mindset is towards this promo. But hopefully EA's mindset is as well. But we move on to the next one, and it is going to be Bernard. A lot of people slept on this card. I remember doing a review on him, and I could not believe how good. His shooting ability and dribbling ability was. He was one of the best dribblers I've ever seen in this game at the time. I'm not sure about now. I'm pretty sure he got patched. But at this time, probably, probably not. But I tell you what, his shooting ability, I cannot believe it as well. If you put a right chem style, I believe it was a dead eye chem style. If I remember correctly, it was a dead eye chem style I gave this guy. And I couldn't believe how good his shooting was. I really couldn't. How, how clinical he was. How much shot power he put behind the shot. It was it was ridiculous. It really was. And obviously the five star skill moves is always going to make everything better. But I do want to see this card come back because we haven't seen this card being used in a lot of teams for a very, very long time. When he came out, my God, I could play him in foot champs uh, probably 10 times, 15 times, maybe in one weekend. But because there's been better cards since, we haven't seen Bernard for a very, very long time. So he's definitely a go to for this summer heat. Next up, we do have Balotelli, a card that I actually rated 10 out of 10 back in the day. Because that's when you kind of would, would be able to use the 4-4-2. It would be much easier to attack and create angles. Now you have to have these 5-star skillers, the 5-star weak for players to kind of solve those problems. Because it's so hard to attack because it's so easy to defend. At this time, not a lot of people knew how to defend. So it's pretty much easy to score a lot of goals i would say and that is why i reckon i rated him a 10 out of 10 but not just that he was an amazing hold up player he was an amazing target man how good his shooting ability was how good he just like held the ball and was very very composed on it as well it was always going to be a lovely sight to see but he's definitely a player that i would like to see come back pretty much and a player that i would like to test out give a cheeky player of on and see how good he is up to this day now next up we do have bulaya i believe is how you pronounce it now, a lot of people don't know about this card because people didn't really play the game when Footmiss was out. And a lot of people kind of slept on it. I really, really enjoyed reviewing uh, the Footmiss card because he had five-star skill moves. But not just that, he also had a four-star weak foot. So it would allow me to create these angles people don't really, wouldn't really expect. And let me do the little flip-flaps. But this is definitely a card I would like to see come back with a, an extent of a shooting boost i need a big big shooting boost on this card to make him very very usable to this day that is the one thing i'm always gonna always gonna say about him the fact that he has 82 shooting on the card is never gonna really catch someone's eye we need a big shooting boost on this card get you know make it make it look pretty decent and he'll definitely be a go-to as probably a super sub or maybe even a starter but we move on to ascensio now this ascensio card sorry about the 
There's two pictures, by the way. The dynamic image wasn't loading, so I just said, screw it. Let's go for the normal picture. But yeah, this, it, only a plus five upgrade. I didn't believe he deserved, I wouldn't say deserves any higher, but saying that, you know, it's kind of these players like Balotelli and stuff, Bailey. I believe Asensio is a really good player and they are better than Bailey and stuff in real life. But if we're being real, we can't put him too high. This card was, this card was nice, the moments card. He was nice when he came out, but I felt like now, nowadays he's kind of slowed down a little bit and that is why i want to see him come back this card could be i wouldn't say potentially the best cam in the game because i feel like i'm overextending that so i would definitely say probably top 10 if ea give him the right stat i would say top 10 the only thing that i want to see improved immensely is his dribbling like shooting i don't really mind if it doesn't get boosted by a lot but i want to see that pace and dribbling boosted by a lot lot because if that got, if that gets boosted by quite a bit we're gonna have a very agile player we're gonna have a fast player we're gonna have a player that feels very very comfortable in the ball and just likes to do these little one twos tick attacker play which is always going to be nice when you have you know like mbappe cr7 neymar around him but yeah he's definitely a he's definitely an intriguing one to see if he actually gets put in there now next up we do have zlatan ibrahimovic now a lot of people actually used the Halloween card when it came out. Bit of a surprise because it wasn't really the meta. Like last year we had, I can't remember what card it was, but it was, you know, six foot five Ebra, green time headers back stick. It was simple as that. So it'll be interesting to see this one. I want to see what stats. Obviously he has got the five star skill moves, but I want to see the stats. If they do give this card one, what they put him on, put him, uh, put him on pretty much. I want to see his pace go up by a lot. That is something I want to see. I don't want to see his pace go up to just 90. I want to see it past 90. I want his shooting to be immense because we all know how good, how good he is at shooting in real life. So I want to see that high as well. The physical stats needs to be much harder, much higher. Sorry, much higher. For me personally, they gave his Halloween card 80 physical. It's like they don't watch the Latin in game. I gave him a plus 17 boost because that is something I believe he deserves. While we move on to a Sanchez. Now, Sanchez, when he came out, I don't believe he actually came out too long ago. But he wasn't a bad player. He was not at all. He was a player that was interesting to see. Not meta, but at the same time, a person that was really nice on the ball. A person that can shoot, pass. He had a bit of physical to him. I wouldn't say to the extent where he could body off like Mendy and stuff. But it's a player I want to see come back. Because this card right here could get really good links with other players. But not just that, he could also be a really, really good winger. And we move on to Akuna. Now, I understand he hasn't got the height and he's got a quite bulky body in game, which I don't mind in the centre mid position. But as you clearly can see, the left wing card is the left wing card is a footmas card. But I want to see this guy central. Okay, I want to see this guy in a position change to a centre mid. I want to see how good he is there. Because we could potentially be, look be looking at a cheap team of the year Kante. Now that is something I'm always going to love. Saying that you could get a potential team of the year, can't they? And obviously I understand the league is not the greatest. But you have to understand that he is Argentinian. So you link him up, link him up with a cheeky Messi and you might be good to go. Now, we do have Talvin up next. Now, this Talvin card, he wasn't insane. I'm not going to say he was. He was not insane. But he could be really, really nice, especially as a winger and cam in this game. If they give him the right stats. If they do give him the right stats. My god. We could see a lot. A lot of Talvins in weaker league. People having fun. Because now. I don't believe Ultimate Team of Season is in weaker league anymore. So people are trying to have fun. So they're going to be picking up these cards. Why not pick up a Talvin. Have a bit of fun with him. He's got a pace. He's got a shooting. They're dribbling. A bit of physical. I wouldn't say to the extent where he'll be bodying off a lot of fullbacks. But the passing ability as well. It definitely is there. But our last person is Piszczek. Now, this card, I believe, it didn't get the upgrade it needed to. I, like, for me, giving him 83 pace was never going to be a good idea by EA. Now, I can understand that you can put, like, a Shadow Chem style on him. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to rely on Chem styles. I want to see a card that is absolutely going to be blown away. And Piszczek... Knowing how good he is in real life as well. He's already got his tackling ability. He's got his physical ability. Definitely the aggression is there. 
but everything else like dribbling, pace, passing, it's not great. And that is why I do want to see this pitch check come back be an outstanding because think about it right we have Hakimi now Hakimi is not a bad he's not a bad fullback he come from the same club obviously not the same nationality but he's same he comes from the same club as Piszczek right and I pretend I don't really like Hakimi too much because of his strength and his work rates aren't great so we could have a Piszczek straight link to Sancho a straight link to Hummels a straight link to Goretzka in the center mid we could create one of the dirtiest dirtiest Bundesliga team on that right side you could ever see in any FIFA if we get this card but that is going to be it for the predictions we're ending it off on piss check what a card to end it off on but if you guys did enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and for now peace